There are over 5 million people with asthma in the UK, and I'm one of them. But how much do we really know about asthma? Most people will know that you can develop the illness if you have a family history of asthma, eczema or allergies. It is likely that this family history combined with environmental factors will determine whether a person develops asthma. The exposure team wanted to find out more about asthma and its effects on daily life. Here's Jordan's story. I'm Jordan McGowan, I'm a third year student at the University of South Wales. I've been diagnosed with asthma for 13 years now, I've had it since I was 8 years old. I do think it's got worse throughout the years, yeah, it depends on the weather change and like throughout the winter months I need it more than what I do in the summer months, but I still have to carry it everywhere I go. I have to use my ground pump twice a day, once in the morning and once in the night, and I do have to carry my blue pump everywhere I go, which is the one that prevents me from having an asthma attack. Um, it affects me from doing any exercising, but I obviously do exercise, but i got to take it with me wherever I go. Um, uh, and everyday life. I think there's enough awareness, yeah, but it would be nice if people knew more on how to handle an asthma attack and what they can do to prevent one happening. Like, it would be good if people around me could deal with me having an asthma attack so they could make sure I'm okay afterwards, but my family and friends know what I have, so they, they know how to deal with it and everything, so apart from that, yeah. Although some people know the basic facts about asthma, there is still more to learn. World Asthma Day takes place every year on the first Tuesday in May. The event was created to raise awareness about asthma. This year, the event will be based around the theme You Can Control Your Asthma, which will be celebrated worldwide with events being held in each country. The usual symptoms of asthma include coughing, wheezing, tightness in your chest and shortness of breath. If you suffer from any of these symptoms on a regular basis, make an appointment with your doctor as soon as possible. For asthma sufferers wanting to learn more about the condition, there is a useful test on the asthma.org website called the AAA test, which will help you understand your risk of attack. Asthma attacks hospitalise someone every seven minutes. Don't let it be you.